angiphenze ngenimukele ehlelweni la Mrs. Skill. Greetings beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You're chilling with Mrs. Skill. Thank you so much for stopping by. To my newest subscribers, welcome guys. Thank you so much. And to my perpetual visitors, do you see the face? Well, I hope one day you'll do the right thing and press the subscribe button. And to my day ones, guys, you really are the motivation I need whenever procrastination knocks at my door. So thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for the this love. This season has affected all of us in various degrees. And one of the sectors that has come to a standstill is the entertainment sector. In this episode, I reached out to a few local entertainers slash personalities slash creatives to just find out how they are doing in this season and also what they have done to adapt to the changes and i hope that it can bring hope to people who are in the same sector and are struggling during this time just to say um just like everybody else i've been violently disrupted in my rhythm of life i mean it's not every day that you face a situation that debases every aspect of the human personality civil rights individuality status dignity and even the freedom of movement and interaction there was definitely a lot of lost business in the form of facilitation coaching and even live shows but in my lifetime, I've taught myself the habit of quickly accepting and getting over the loss so that I can shift my focus to what I'm either supposed to learn or gain from that loss. Well, I mean, many people know that I do a lot of MC and voiceovers. And of course, I work with an amazing team. So as a film entertainment, we put together events, we do a lot of promotions. So we are at the core of entertainment in the kingdom of Eswatini. With that said, we know that um, those activities have been put on hold indefinitely, you know, as one of the safety measures to fight the been a lot of uh, strain, I won't lie, and uh, a lot of adjusting to do, changing our lifestyles because, I mean, when we plan out a year, we know exactly what should be happening month after month, season after season and otherwise. So we're just grateful that we are well and healthy and the safe so we hope that everybody can just stay positive and uh, we should be creative now more than ever oh honey honey i have been affected like i've been hit where it hurts the most um when it comes to this thing because i deal with people directly you know my my work is all about being in someone's personal space and touching and talking and all of those things so yo it's 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 hit me hard financially absolutely but also it's it's just going to change the way that we do things and yeah <laughs> like you go from from having being booked and busy for months months in advance you know to like you don't know where your next gig is going to come from because there's no events and any that are like for few people so there's there's no real reason for people to come to you so now now you've got to change the way that you think and that you do things you know how are you going to get people to still come to you for a service and how are you going to offer it to them um in a different way you know so yeah i've been i've been very very affected it has affected us really badly to be frank um i think that entertainment industry is one of those industries that have been affected the most um and um man oh fanangina wonke laba jelo ukuthi ndikuthini hlale khaya and don't come to work that's us except we don't get paid for staying at home sadly but um god has been faithful god is good So what I've tried to do to adapt to the changes is a really just to look at the way that the world is shifting. And to me, it just looks like everything is shifting into the digital space. Everything is shifting into the creative space. And, you know, thankfully, my industry is a creative industry. So it's, 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 it's a bit of an adjustment. 
um, but not 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 a, not a terrible one because it's it's forcing us to to adapt. It's forcing us to to think differently. So um, probably the one big thing that I've done to 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 change or to adapt to the change is to is to change my way of thinking. That's probably the first thing, and then I feel like everything else will follow as um, we kind of find the ways to 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 move into this digital era that we seem to be moving into so yeah adjusting the mind first and then letting everything else kind of follow and and seeing where your strengths lie within that space that's now being created i've been doing a lot of meditating actually you know how prayer is the act of speaking but meditating is the act of listening to the source to yourself and to your pure desires without suggestion or influence from trending topics or popular opinion. For instance, when I started rapping, the popular opinion was that it would never work in a Swatini. And that was just like the word on the street. Yet for me, it has been the vehicle that has opened doors and put me in front of kings, like literally. It has put me on stages in cities all around the world. And I'm now listening from the inside out and not from the outside in. Pastor Mike Todd on Relationship Goals Reloaded, ripped the list. He actually helped me realize that a lot of my frustrations come from the fact that I'm still holding on to the ideas and plans for the year that I made in January, which no longer are applicable or even practical. So a lot of what I'm doing now is part of the new list, which, by the way, is written in pencil because I'm open to being flexible and adaptable without losing my core values and intentions. Bruce Lee says, be like water, be flexible enough to take the shape of the container you are put in without losing your character or integrity. The situation is strange. It's scary. We're like, what the heck is going on? But the only thing that I have done is to remain positive, stay positive and stay in the word. I love Jesus. Crazy for Jesus. So he has got my back and that's the only thing that, you know, has kept me going. Honestly, true story. Um, and that he's the only reason why I'm able to, you know, smile um, and believe that tomorrow is going to be better. So that's what I've done really. Staying in the word has helped me, honestly. I really wonder how other people are coping. I wonder if you, I mean, Jesus is the only answer, guys. Like, oh, Piranjan. Where do you get hope? Like, whose word is bigger than this? these reports? I mean, with everyone online um, and being at home to stay safe, we had to go hard on with our online work. So we've introduced the ultimate stay-home parties, which are practically lockdown parties with a DJ or two from different stables in the country to, you know, have a set and uh, people can interact and watch that. It's quite entertaining. And then most recently we've worked with um, some really interesting creators and personalities uh, and TikTok and so on thing to give you more content. It's all up on our Swazibo TV YouTube channel. So we hope that people can be entertained and will enjoy it as much as we anticipate them to enjoy it. And you know, with that said, being in the arts, you are a creator and no doubt about that. Be it a comedian, an actor, an actress, a musician, an artist who's doing a, a piece of art. You know, people that are entertainers, they're quite creative. So this is a, a very good space to be in and you can share your, your work online. To the essential workers, thank you for holding it down. Thank you for being our heroes. We love you. We appreciate you. We know that you have families uh, and putting your lives in danger is such a selfless thing. Thank you so much. God bless you. I just want to take this moment to thank all our essential workers. Um, firstly, the doctors and nurses, the everyone that's in the medical field. I just want to say thank you 
the risks that you guys are taking every day, they are seen, they are appreciated and they are valued. Um, and to all the other essential workers that are, you know, still feeding into the economy and keeping things going, guys, thank you so much. You know, some of us are sitting at home and, uh, you know, a lot of people are moaning about it. But the truth is that given a choice, I don't think that, you know, a lot of people would, you know, willingly put themselves in the line of fire. So we just want to say thank you. God speed and God bless. And, you know, thank you. We see you and we are so grateful. Thank you. just want to say thank you for all the work that you are doing and we are grateful for fighting with us and for us during this time it's very hard on everyone it's a lot of adjusting to do we need to be more aware of our surroundings now and you know change ways that are things that we used to do and you know um it's very simple guys stay home to stay safe if you need to go out to get essential things or to do something that is quite essential, wear your mask, sanitize, um, be in a habit of washing your hands with the running water and so we can fight this, trust me we can. It's just a matter of time. As much as we like to joke about things, this is quite serious and it's a lot of people's lives at stake. So we should really support people. Don't disconnect from people. Keep, you know, engaging with your friends and your family. And you don't know how much that means to somebody. Because I believe it's affecting us mentally more than anything right now. So we need to fight that uh, over there. And then we got this. So with that said, um, I hope everybody is keeping safe and well and healthy. Make sure that you are also physically that your immune system is able to fight this and everything else that comes you know with it man um to the workers in essential services thank you for being in the forefront of this battle um especially in a moment that requires courage over comfort it requires love over fear and it requires heart over air it's a moment that requires hope and hands that will risk their lives. So thank you for daring to suffocate even your own well-being just so that the world can breathe easy. Salute.